to the slideshow mode. Okay. So this is today's story. Misplaced trust. Long ago in the Chinese kingdom, a foolish fellow secretly brought out a sword that was a family treasure, took it on board a boat in a swift flowing river, and commenced to try it out. He swung the sword so vigorously that it flew out of his hand and landed in the water with a splash. The current bore the boat speedily on, taken aback the man lost no time in whipping out his dagger and marking a deep notch on the gunwale where the sword had fallen overboard, muttering, There, now I can tell exactly where it is. The point of the story is the foolishness of the man who had no notion that the mark he made was itself in constant motion. One who places trust in money and possessions is severely shaken when money and possessions are lost. One who places trust in honor and position suffers a terrible setback when those are lost. One who places trust in parents or children will collapse in despair when these are lost. One who places trust in convictions will suffer a breakdown when his convictions waver. Okay, very good. <laughs> yeah, this is, I think, a story from the book, You Were Born for a Reason. And uh, yeah, it is encouraging us to examine what it is that we place our trust in. Because if it's a misplaced trust, it is us, the person who is doing this act of trusting, has to suffer. Nobody but that person. Like today's phrase that they said, seeds unsown will never grow, but seeds which are sown will inevitably grow. So it's a karma of the mind. We are responsible for our karma, karma we create with our mind, even if we are not aware of it, it's energy that is shaping our happiness or unhappiness in life. And yeah, so that's part of what it means to walk the spiritual path. We need to examine what it is that we place our trust in. Um, most people place their trust in money and possessions. They think if only they increase their finance, uh, financial well-being, they will be happy. You know, people say there is no suffering you cannot solve with money. So there are these things that are going around. And of course, without money, uh, there will be a lot of unhappiness too. We don't deny that. Uh, but we forget about the impermanence of life, that things come and go, and then we will find ourselves in the whirlpool of uh, feeling betrayal or betrayed, and we collapse in despair. So to think that if only I increase my assets so that I can solve any suffering that comes my way, that's like this foolish guy who lost his sword in the ocean or in the river. And then he thought, oh, if I mark it right now before the boat moves, then I will know where the sword is. He forgets the truth that the boat is moving in a swift flowing river. We forget about how things are swiftly changing around us. Life is like a swift flowing river. Uh, temporarily, maybe the current might be gentle, but it's, it picks up speed. Yeah, so in this way, if we are mindful of this truth of impermanence, that everything is changing, then we know the importance of placing our trust in the Dharma. Dharma, by its very definition, is the truth that permeates all times and all places. It never changes. And that's why we listen to Buddhism. We are here practicing together. 
So good job, everyone, uh, for being here. Today is Friday, so we're going to have a Purpose and Meaning Lab hosted by Rick, 3 p.m. Pacific time, and have a wonderful start of your end of the week. <laughs> okay, bye-bye. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay. Bye, everyone.